Welcome to the IMAN order import demonstration for Sage 300 ERP. Sage 300 is also known as Sage Jackpack. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to import orders from a spreadsheet into the Sage order entry module. Let's take a look at the sample data that we'll be using for this demonstration. And this is a spreadsheet that contains that sample data, and it's a classic flat file organization of header detail information. You can see there are several columns that represent the header information, such as the customer ID and the salesperson number that stand for the order. And there are several columns that represent the detail line items, such as the item number, the description, quantity, price, and line discount. So it takes several rows to represent one complete order. Now let's move into IMAN. And we're going to set up a, a job that will define how orders are imported from the spreadsheet so that all the settings are memorized and can be repeated either run manually or run on a schedule. And we'll start by taking a look at the Transform Setup screen, which has a, a panel where we'll build in the logical steps for doing an integration in a visual format. And the first step in doing an integration is identifying the source of the information. So we'll take a look at the readers that are built into ACPAC. And you can see we support a number of different file formats like CSVs, database connections, XML, and other applications. In this example, we're going to use the Excel reader. And by putting it on the panel, uh, we can double click it and identify the details behind that data source. In this case, we're using a local file to bring orders into ACPAC. Uh, we'll identify that file name and uh, we'll go ahead and click on the refresh button and that will show us what IMAN can see by looking at that data source. And there's the information that we saw in the spreadsheet earlier. And this is a key feature of IMAN. You get to preview the data as you work with it each step along the way, as you identify its source and as you transform it uh, to the correct format for the import. You won't have to run the job and find out what happens. You'll get to see how it works. Next thing that we'll do is tell IMAN a little bit more information about the data. Uh, in this case, we'll uh, tell it the type of data for the numeric and date fields. And uh, there's an extra field that we don't need. We don't need the input file name, so we'll remove that from the data schema. So now IMAN knows a little bit more about this data source. It knows the types of the fields that are coming in. Now the next step is to put a process in place that will transform the data. You can see there's a number of different transformations available. And uh, in this case, we're going to use the hierarchical transformation and that will help us convert the flat file data into header and detail records. So we'll bring over the hierarchy uh, transform and we'll use our panel to show the steps that are to be performed in sequence for this integration and we'll do that in a graphical format. We will connect the data source Excel to the transformation step and then we'll double click on that transformation step to tell it what to do with that data. And The first thing that we want to do in this hierarchy is identify which fields are going to be part of the header. So we'll uncheck all the detail fields and we'll leave all of the header fields checked and identify which of the header fields is the key to this table, which is, of course, the order ID from the web. 
So now we've identified the header table information. Next thing we'll do is identify the order detail information. And we will tie that to the um, header table by the order ID and identify the fields from the data source that represent the detail lines. Now when we do the refresh, we can see the preview has teased apart the header and detail information and we can see exactly how IMAN understands this data now and how it can organize this data as a complete independent order. You'll notice that um, this data can be shown over and over so as you're double checking your work you can preview it each time. Now the next thing we're go going to do is manipulate some of the data and if we're going to uh, do that with our mapping module and we're going to add a couple of extra fields. Uh, one of the fields will contain uh, information coming back from ACPAC uh, to this database so that we can keep an audit trail of how these orders were processed. In this case we're going to keep track of the ACPAC generated order number uh, in our job. Uh, we can also create a uh, field that's calculated and uh, we can have a really detailed calculation uh, or we can have a simple calculation and just to illustrate that we'll create a, a field with extended price and here you'll see that the extended price can simply be a calculation of the quantity and the price less the discount given uh, so that we can see what the extended price is for each line. These calculations can be uh, highly complicated. Um, this is a simple one. They can be very rich. They can even be table transformations where one value is converted to another based on a table lookup. And there's the extended price that's calculated. We also have the ACPAC order number column in here, but uh, in the header, but um, that won't be filled out until we actually start importing it into ACPAC. And let's save our transformation. So the next step is to look at our connectors and we're going to bring in the Sage ACPAC connector and this uh, module knows all about uh, ACPAC. It's going to interrogate the ACPAC data that is the destination for these orders and uh, it will know things like the most common transaction types that are uh, implemented. Uh, here we're going to pick version 6 and so now it's going out and connecting to that uh, ACPAC system. You can see that we support most master file imports, but we also support transaction imports. In this case, we'll pick the order entry uh, order transaction import. So here's where we'll do our field mapping between the data that we've organized uh, in the integration manager and the SAGE fields. Not only are the standard SAGE ACPAC fields available, but if any custom fields have been added to this installation for this company, they will show up in our drop-down list as well. So you can see we're mapping our order ID, customer ID, ship date, payment amount, salesperson to salesperson uh, one in this case, and um, we can proceed with actually creating 
uh, an order inside of ACPAC once we've done this mapping. And we'll do the order detail. Now when we do the refresh, having identified both the header and detail, we've actually gone off and added orders to ACPAC. And you can see the order number field has been populated by ACPAC, and so those orders are in ACPAC. And in fact, we can go there and take a look. There's our sales order. There's our line items. And that matches the data that we see in our preview panel. And there's our order comment, ship complete. So by using this tool in an interactive way, we've actually taken a look at the transformations, taken a look at how they come out in ACPAC. Now we'll add some audit processing. Now, one of the most useful things that IMAN will do is that in addition to aborting a process if there's an error, we can actually have the process to skip a record if it doesn't uh, work. It can be reject that one record, but it can import the rest. And an exception report can be generated by email so that that uh, rejected record can be processed manually or re-imported. So now we're going to design the audit trail report. So we'll set up a report that will tell the user how many orders were processed, how many were imported, How many errors occurred? Now we'll cross-reference the web order and the ACPAC order. So now we've got an audit report, and we can save the job. Now we can set up a schedule to have this job run 
on a periodic basis or we'll just this case we'll just run it in full one time so we'll pick the job that we're gonna run we'll pick the order import from the list our preview panel is going to show the results of the automatic run of this import. And there it is. So here's the audit trail that we developed, which can be sent by email as well as logged here. So now you've seen the complete process of transforming data from a spreadsheet into a header detail format, mapping it to ACPACS format, testing that import, setting up an audit trail, and then finally scheduling a job to actually do that, um, uh, that integration. This allows you to set up integrations in a very methodical way and a very maintainable way and we've done that entire uh, integration in about 15 minutes. I want to thank you very much for taking a look at IMAN today. And uh, please contact us if we can offer any more information. Thank you so much.